ClickUp is just amazing. It has this customizable interface which allows it to be the one central point of truth for different documentation, for task management, for CRM, you name it. But with that being said, there are still some workflows with ClickUp that can be manual. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to build those ClickUp automations to make your workflows even smoother. Let's take a look. And if you're still new to Bardeen, it's a workflow automation tool. It's a Chrome extension. You can download it in the link below. And the best part about Bardeen, in my opinion, is those pre-built workflows that you can start using out of the box. So here in forward slash playbox, we can go ahead and pick ClickUp as a tool that we're looking at. And we have a number of different pre-built use cases over here. Uh, for example, this one can create a task from an Upwork profile, meaning that if you want to save a freelancer from Upwork directly to ClickUp, you can do exactly that. And we're going to take a look at that exact use case. You can also save Instagram profiles. You can save LinkedIn profiles as well in case you're doing influencer marketing or if you are keeping a CRM inside ClickUp. So those are really cool use cases. Let's click on this specific card. And what I can do is I can pin this automation to get it saved. Okay, so it looks like it was pinned successfully. And from here, all I need to do is I need to go to LinkedIn. Let's go to my LinkedIn profile page. And imagine I want to save all of the information. So the name of the person, the profile URL, uh, the current company, and all that awesome information to a list somewhere here in ClickUp. So I'm going to click on spaces, click on my main space. And here I have my CRM folder. And then in the CRM folder, I have different statuses for different types of people. So ideally, I add individual people to this list. So we have qualified prospect status over here. So I want more folks to be added to this column. So let's do exactly this. We're going to go to this LinkedIn profile page and we're going to open Bredin from here. Let's click on copy LinkedIn profile to the ClickUp list. We want to connect ClickUp. You only need to do this the first time you run the automation. Pick the space and let's connect it. So here we are asked to specify a list that we're going to be sending this information to. I'm going to pick accounts and opportunities and I'm going to save this input so that I can run this automation with one click in the future. Let's click on save and run this automation. So Bardeen is extracting all of the information and let's open uh, this page. Boom, and there we have it. So this person was added as unqualified prospect. Here's all of the information about the person from the LinkedIn profile page that we've extracted. And let's close this specific page. Boom, here we have unqualified prospect right there. Takes just one click. So adding the next person is going to be just as easy. Uh, let's click on Matt Leonard, for example. Let's open Bardeen over here. Click once, and just like this, Matt was added as an unqualified prospect over here to this list. Let me show you a little bit under the hood so that you can understand how this automation works. I'm going to open the Chrome extension and click on more options and open this automation in the builder. And it's very simple. So this automation only has two actions. It's the scraper action, which copies information from the currently open page. And this is the create ClickUp task action, which just adds another item on a ClickUp list. If you're not yet familiar with the scraper, make sure to check it out in the description of this video or click on the card over here. And since the scraper copies information from the currently open page, you can build scraper templates for other websites such as Instagram or Twitter, which will be perfect if you do list building for influencer marketing. But let me show you a couple more cool use cases. Here I have my hiring selection matrix over here with a bunch of different candidates. Imagine we want to source some freelancer candidates from Upwork. We're going to do exactly this. So here we have a central place where all of the candidates are going to be located. Every candidate has different statuses. If we scroll a little bit to the right, this is how we assess candidates as well. So all I want to do is we want to add new candidates with one click from Upwork to this list. For this, we have another pre-built automation, link to it in the description. And what I want to do is I want to go on Upwork and pull up some candidates that applied for a certain position. So I can click on Sarah, for example, over here. 
and I'm going to open Bardeen. This time I want to collapse it so that it's nicely organized on the right side. I'm going to click on this automation, create ClickUp task from an Upwork profile. We're going to add this person to our hiring selection list over here. And then we're going to assign the person to John Bardeen. I'm going to remember the inputs so that I don't have to specify those every time. Let's click on save and run. And just like this, this person with all of the information, including the link, compensation, success rate, and the location was nicely saved, okay? Uh, let's check it out here. So there we have Sarah. And then if we open it up, here we have all of the information nicely organized over here. The next person that you want to add, you can add similarly. Let's click on this person, open Bardeen in the sidebar, click on this playbook card, and boom, Romelio was added just the same way. So now that you have seen how to use pre-build automations with ClickUp, I want to show you how to build your very own ones. Let's go ahead and open Bardeen, and then we're going to expand Bardeen over here and click on Create Playbook. So on the left side, we're going to find ClickUp and here are all of the actions with ClickUp that are available to us. The action that I am interested in is called create ClickUp task. Let's click on that. And here we need to specify the list in which we want to create this task. So in my case, I have this folder that's called task management and I might want to create some action items that'll be added to this list. Let's open Bardeen again. And here we have some additional variables, such as the name of the task. For that, I'm going to use ask me every time parameter so that every time I want to run this automation, I can say what the name of the task is. It's not a fixed parameter, it's a variable. Let's click on done. And here we can also add the task description if we wanted the assignee, etc. So for me, I always want it to be assigned to me and I don't want to have any due date or any priority. Just like this, I'm going to click on done, click on done again and call this automation, create a ClickUp task. Click on save. And we can give this automation a try. Obviously, I want to be running this automation somewhere in the depth of the internet. So here I am on the Google page. I can open Bardeen with the shortcut option B and just click on create a ClickUp task. Give it a name such as awesome task and run this automation. And boom, an awesome task was created and it was added over here. No priority, awesome task. There we have it. And this is the simplest type of automation that you can create. Let's make it slightly more interesting and slightly more sophisticated. So I want to go to Wikipedia and figure out who the hell uh, John Bardeen is. So let's go to John Bardeen. And then here we have a Wikipedia page, obviously a super long page. Have fun researching who John Bardeen is, but I might be a slightly lazy person if I was uh, entirely honest with you. And if I'm going through the web, through the internet and stumbling upon really cool articles, I might want to save the summaries of those articles to ClickUp. This is the web clipper that we're going to be creating. So let's open up Bardeen over here. So here we have that original automation that we built. I want to open it in the builder and I want to turbocharge this automation with some cool AI stuff. All right, so the first thing that I want to do is I I want to get the body of the currently open page. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to get the HTML of this page. Boom, there is that action. So essentially we're looking at the currently open page and we're extracting all of the information, all of the code on that page. And then I want to get that code and turn it into something that I can read without problem, which is going to be text. So there's another action, let's call HTML to text. So this action says, okay, give me HTML and I'm going to return text. We're going to grab HTML from action one and we're going to feed it entire value. I promise it's not as sophisticated as it seems. All we want to do is we want to get text from the currently open page, whatever the page is. And hence we have those first two actions. Finally, I want to add the artificial intelligence action with OpenAI. And then I want to get a summary of text. This is the very top one and says, okay, what text do you want to summarize? I'm going to pick action two, convert HTML to text. This is the text from the currently open page. And here I can say the level of summary. So I can say one long paragraph. This is the level of which we're going to get the summary. Let's select that, click on done. And finally, we want to customize that create ClickUp task action and add the description that's going to be the summary of the currently open page. So for the description, we're going to use that open AI action, action three, click on done. And from here, I'm going to click on the settings and just rename this automation and call it ClickUp Web 
Clipper. Click on save, click on done, voila. Let's try out the automation. Let's click on it. So here we still need to add the task title. For example, uh, read about John Bardeen. This is going to be the name of our task. I'm going to click on run this automation. And bam, that's our task right here. Let's open it up. And that looked like a really long paragraph indeed, just like we requested. So here's the summary of that much longer Wikipedia page so we can skim through it later on. Now that I think about it, we probably want to add an additional variable to the description, which is the source URL. So this is the page from which we created uh, this specific task. And you could do it very easily in the builder. And here comes the final use case with ClickUp that I want to show you. This automation is going to create ClickUp tasks from selected text. I have a longer video explaining this exact use case because it uses artificial intelligence. Let's pin this automation and try it out right away. So what we want to do is we want to configure it first. Uh, here we need to specify which list that we want to add the new tasks to. Let's add it to backlog and activate the automation. So this is a right click automation. So if you select text and right click on the text, you will have this option show up over here, save to do's to click up. So let me show you where this automation can be really handy. Let's go on Slack. And as you know, on Slack, there are tons of messages flying around and you don't want to be the guy who copies information from Slack to click up. So here on Slack, I found this post over here that has some action items. So what I can do is I can just select this text right click on it and find the save to do's to click up and just like this magically open ai figured out what is the task and what is not and it has added them directly to our click up list let's go to backlog okay and here are the task make the magic box work ship playbook synthesis share the results of the week-long hackathon with the world on twitter and obviously learn how to make better pasta and this is it. Enjoy your newfound productivity with ClickUp and definitely make sure to check out the links that I talked about in the description of this video. You can watch this video next if you want to learn how the scraper works. It will allow you to copy information from any website directly to ClickUp or to your other favorite apps such as Google Sheets or Airtable. Click here next.